Hey everybody, John J. Barry here. Today, I have a bit of a treat. I have a sit probe for the musical 9 to 5 I'm doing, so I figured I could show you guys a behind the scenes of what I have to do every time I play a musical. It's pretty cool. Let me show you everything I have oh, over here. Oh yeah, look at all this gear. So the book calls for like five different instruments. I'm only gonna bring four. I'm not gonna bring my arch top. Here's my Telecaster, my classical. There's a Dobro in that bottom box. That's my mandolin. Here has my book, my SM57, and my XLR. I use this powered monitor to use my electric stuff through, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean with that a little bit later. Here's a stand. You need to have your stand. There's a boom stand for the SM57, a guitar stand, double. I have more uh, in my car already. And I put my Fractal Audio AX8 in this little suitcase. Pretty convenient. I think it's pretty cool. And of course, they're like silly little, like, you know, Remember, oh, like these, I didn't put this in the, in the pack, like, you know, you need your stand light. I have extra batteries in here, extra strings, my quarter inch cables, uh, capos, everything that needed are already like tucked away. So now I'm gonna get to play everybody's favorite game, Gear Tetris. After a game of <laughs> car Tetris, we were at the theater <laughs> and by the power of magic, not my mediocre editing, we will have this set up at a flick. Three, two, one. Nice. All complete with the palo, with the magic, and not editing skills of my finger snap. Thank you. Go high time. Hey everybody, uh, just got back from the theater. I know I gave you just like a really brief look at what was going on, but that is kind of the deal. When, you, when you're a pit guitar player and you're going to play a show, you know, you get your book and you, you practice the book and you look inside and it sees everything you need uh, effect wise for like electric guitar, if that's what's called for it. And I showed two patches real quick just because we were all looking to leave. So I didn't want to like mess around with it, but this run is for four weeks. So I could definitely demonstrate things for you, but I made two patches for this show in mind, um, with the help of my good friend, Russ Jones. And it was because I looked through the book and I saw that the book needed some chorus and some tremolo effects and some different kinds of distortion. So I got to put those together and uh, I had my setup really nice. You know, uh, I thought it was really nice. I have the stand, so I have my mandolin. Uh, I have my classical, my nylon string. And then I had the double stand with the Telecaster and my Dobro. The Dobro is really cool. That's the slide stuff. Uh, this is the Rockaway Theater Company, and it should be cool. It's the last three weekends of July or these next coming weekends in July, if you're watching this video when it goes live. And then the first weekend of August, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday and Saturday are eight o'clock shows and the Sundays are two o'clock matinees. So it should be really fun. It's also really cool to meet new people when you do these things and play with some great musicians and uh, nothing goes smoother when everybody does their homework and uh, comes prepared. That, that, that really is the, the key. And uh, speaking of being prepared, it's also good to have things like you know, a pencil to mark your book up with. I brought uh, a stand light, so I brought AAA batteries just in case my lights died. A uh, pack of strings that are extra in case the string snaps. Um, a lot of picks in case I drop a pick mid like song and I, you know, you can't like fumble for the pick. You know, you want to have your pick there. So being prepared is really cool. I I personally love these pit gigs. So th that that's the that's the the gigs I'm after, the pit stuff, very, very fun, and uh, helps if you could read. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a lot more stuff coming, and uh, let me know if that's something that's cool, okay? Thanks, guys. See you on Friday.